Okay, hello and welcome to Dorf Romantic. This is a very relaxing, easygoing uh, strategy slash puzzle game, which I would describe as being very simple to understand, but quite difficult to actually master. Um, I certainly haven't mastered it myself, but I'm going to be showing off the game and what it kind of looks like in its current form, which is the uh, should be the release day form. It's a couple of days before it finally releases in its full form. It's been in early access for about a year, um, but this is the version pretty much as it should be on the day it releases. By the time you see this video, it should be out. Um, I'm going to walk you through the kind of basics of the game, uh, but before we get into the game itself, I thought I would just show in this particular version uh, what the actual game modes available are. So the tutorial is fairly self-explanatory. Um, I'm not going to play that on this particular video. Um, it just explains the basics of the game, but I will be doing that myself. Classic mode I've tried a couple of times before. Um, that is kind of like a good balance of the various different gameplay mechanics. Um, I will be explaining them in more detail soon, but essentially you have a limited number of hexes you can place and you can fulfill quests in order to get more. Creative mode, you don't have a limited number of hexes. You can just keep painting the landscape for as long as you like. Quick mode, you just have a limited number of tiles you can place before the game is over. If you fulfill quests and things like that, it doesn't matter. You just have a limited number of tiles and eventually you will just run out. You just have to try and get the best score you can uh, before that happens. Hard mode is pretty self-explanatory. It's just the classic mode of the game with um, all of the various constraints that usually hold you back from succeeding, uh, just amped up to a higher level. Monthly mode is basically, I think, custom mode, but it's with custom settings that have been specifically uh, put forward by the developers for that given month. And then custom mode is a mode where you can kind of tweak the various features if you have certain preferences about um, how you actually play the game. You can switch certain things off or just tweak things as you like if that's what you want to do. You can also get a seed from doing that which allows you to, uh, to share with other players um, and to see if they can get a higher score than you for the exact same configuration of the game. But yeah, we're going to be playing classic mode. We're going to be starting off a new game. I can get rid of that, that's my previous playthrough. Okay, so straight away here we can see that we've got um, a single hexagon, which is just a grass hexagon. Uh, so to explain the basic concept of the game, a hexagon has six sides. Let me know if I'm going too fast for you. Each of those sides has a certain terrain type. Um, and the idea of this is, is very similar to the game Carcassonne, if you've ever played that. You want to match the sides to other sides that are the exact same type of terrain. Um, so in this case, I've got a, a hex I can place, this first hex I can place. This hex contains a field, which is one of the types of terrain. Also a house, which is like the city terrain. Um, and also, I think this is a granary, which is just purely for aesthetic reasons, but it's actually just treated as grass terrain. So in this case, we want to be placing grass terrain against grass terrain. So we're going to start off by doing that. So we do that. We can see that it's got a plus three plus above this, which is a quest. So in order to fulfill the quest, we need to connect at least three other wheat fields uh, to these three to these three sides of wheat fields we already have. Um, so if you look at the hexagon that we've just placed, you can see that three of the sides are wheat fields, and the other three are um, Two grass sides, which is the granary building just there, um, and then a kind of a city side, which is just that one little house just there. I will continue to explain as we go through. If this isn't making too much sense so far, don't worry about it, because I promise this is a pretty simple game uh, once you get going. So this is a pretty pretty good placement. We can see that the, the sides are glowing, which means this does match on, in two places. So we've got grass against grass, uh, and grass against grass once again. And this tile also comes with a quest, which is we need to get 16 trees to connect to this um, hex. So we should be able to do that pretty easily. These tiles are a bit more complicated. This is a river tile. Problem with the river tiles is you can't place them wherever you like. You do have to make sure that the the ends of the river join up to um, join up to other bodies of water. So what I like to do is I like to have these kind of away from um, my other types of terrains that I'm building. So I'm going to put this on the west and we're then back with this. So this is, this particular one is two sides of grassland and four sides of forest. So we have a quest with this too. The quest for this one is to connect it to five or more trees. We already have a load of trees right here so that's very easy to do. Uh, as soon as we connect these two together, 
We fulfill both quests at the same time. So this hex wants us to connect to 16 trees. This hex wants us to connect to 5. If we just join those two together, we've immediately solved both of those problems. And the number of hexes we have before we're kicked out of the game goes up by 5 for each fulfilled quest. So we've just gained um, 10 extra hexes that we can use before we get wiped out. So that's great. This is a pretty easy placement for this next one. We can see there are three sides that can join up. We've got grass at the top, grass at the top left, and then we've got a, a field to the kind of southwest side of the hex. And that also joins up to the wheat field, which moves us slightly closer to fulfilling that quest. This is another um, forest tile. Once again, it wants to connect with a quest. 22 trees it wants to connect to. We can connect on two sides right here and just fill that off uh, right away. So that's immediately done. Okay, so this one is um, more of a city tile. And city tiles are fairly self-explanatory, but something that can be useful just for the kind of visual clarity of the game is that um, you really want to be looking at the, the kind of pavement or the dirt underneath the city if you want to see which city bits join up with other city bits. So the thing I've not really mentioned yet is that um, it's not just about the six sides of the hexagon, it's also kind of about what actually sits in the middle of the hexagon in that space. So in this particular hexagon we can see there is a house in the middle. Um, so this is a pretty good tile if we want to start building a bit of a city. So we're going to connect the field to the field which brings that um, quest very close to being done. So next thing we want to do is we want to take this next hex and I think we want to place it like this because we can see that connects this big field um, to our larger field which will finish off that quest. Also connects a house to the other houses which allows us to continue to expand that town. There is one minor defect here which is that um, this kind of top edge connects to some trees. So that's not ideal. If you're going for a high score in this game you really just want to connect things as perfectly as possible. If you get a perfect hex, which is where all six sides um, connect to the exact same type of terrain, that does give you an extra bonus hex as well as giving you a nice boost to your high score. So you can kind of choose whether you want to try and sustain yourself for as long as possible, or whether you just want to try and get a, as high a score as possible. For the most part, if you do one, you will be doing the other, but to an extent you can prioritize um, just trying to match things perfectly, which does give you a higher score, but doesn't necessarily allow you to focus on quests quite as much. This quest is again very easy, it's just more trees. We can just connect it right there. So we're up to 56 hexes now, that's going pretty well. Uh, this place to connect, this should work. This connects perfectly on two sides. The other four sides are of course not currently connected. Uh, and then we've got another quest, so this is a different type of quest. So this particular type of quest, um, where this differs is that it's not a 5 plus symbol, it's just a 5 symbol. And what that means is we need to connect 5 wheat fields to this, and no more. So we want to connect 5 wheat fields to this in total before the end, um, and then we probably will be told by the game, in fact we will certainly be told by the game, that we need to try and close that wheat field off, which will give us an extra 5 uh, hexes. So we get 5 hexes if we successfully finish off those 5 pieces of the wheat field, and we get a further 5 hexes if we then completely seal that in so that we can't expand it any further. So what you kind of end up doing is you, you kind of get a bit of a biome going. Um, and I'll show you how that kind of works out as we play. But for now this is a pretty good place to drop this I think because it allows us to continue expanding that city. This thing, we could join it on. That brings us slightly closer to being done. I'd be tempted just to drop it next to our trees though. We can just keep expanding this forest. I think we'll do that for now. Okay, so next thing we've got is a railroad, and railroads are kind of difficult to deal with. They're exactly the same as rivers. Um, they need to join up to other pieces of railroad, so you have to be a little bit careful with that. We've not got too much freedom about where we can place this. We can already see there are a few places that we're just simply not allowed to place this. So I think... Ideally, I like to have my railroads and my rivers just kind of moving away from each other, causing as few problems as possible. We've not got many options for this. If we just drop it here for now, that's okay. I'd prefer it to be moving away from everything else. So this is not a perfect connection because it's it's trees to trees on one side and it's um, 
trees to grass on the other. If we go like this, that's slightly better, but it is moving towards our wheat fields, which we were currently building uh, down to the south. I am going to go for this though. So there's a quest with that, which is we need to connect four uh, train tracks to it, which we will do later on. For now, let's focus on this. So this is going to be one extra hex of water, and we need just one more hex of water to get a quest complete on that. This is another quest tile, so this one wants a total of four hexes of water connected to it. Um, so if we do this, this will finish off the previous water quest we had, uh, and it will kick off a new one. Let's go like this, because we can see there are some trees on this edge. Long term, we might be able to connect it to our forest. So we'll do that. Then we go back to this. This is... Houses on all sides. So this is really good if we want to expand our town. Which I think we do. And I think we're going to expand it to the southeast for now. Let's just do that. Then this thing is... Houses on two sides. It's also... Grass on three sides. But now we're just going to put that here, I think that should be fine. Uh, and then we've got our railway track, which we're going to keep expanding in this direction, I think. Or in fact, let's send it in this direction instead, because we don't really want it going towards um, our fields over here. Okay, so we've got another quest tile. This one wants us to get four, um, four fields connecting to it. We can actually join that up with the other. That's kind of a win-win. So if we connect these two together, we're moving towards fulfilling both of those quests at the same time. Uh, and we can just try and block off this field at some point. So let's go for that. Then we've got some more houses we can place. This is pretty much a perfect placement on three sides. So let's just drop that there. Then we've got some more railway track. Again, I like to just keep this going away from the rest of my biomes if I can. Okay, so next thing we've got is some more, uh, some more wheat fields. So if we place it here, that will finish off one of those two quests, but not the other. We could also keep expanding the wheat field to the east instead. Um, so eventually you do get, of course, these quests where there's no limit to how much you can place. So what I like to do is I like to have just one really big um, ongoing kind of biome or zone of each terrain type. And this is a really good tile for that. So I might actually place this here, although that is moving towards the train tracks. Let's go with this for now. We should be able to come back and finish this off. We have got 48 hexes left, so we've got plenty of time to actually sort that out. Okay, so next thing is we're going to go back to this, and we're just going to keep expanding the river in that direction. Lake tile actually works kind of as a grass tile. It likes to connect to grass tiles. It doesn't like to connect to trees, and doesn't like to connect to wheat fields. We can see the kind of red line along the edge. Um, but the obvious thing to do with lake tiles is you can place them just about anywhere, so you can use them as a way to kind of end uh, a river before it expands towards your lands too much. Okay, so that has finished off another quest. We are now up to 51 hexes. This one again is pretty simple. We're just going to put it down next to some of these other tiles. And in fact, this feels like an easy win. It connects nicely on three sides. Let's just do it. Okay, next up, this is capable of potentially finishing off one of those quests, and still leaving just enough space to finish off the other. Again, I don't think we need to do this right now, we've got 50 spare hexes, and this is quite a good tile for just continuing to expand this big wheat field. So let's go for that first. Train track we're just going to simply drop there, and we've now got, this is pretty much why I did this. So this one wants to connect to 15 wheat fields. We can just connect it to this giant wheat field and just continue expanding this out in this direction. So it now only needs five more. Next up we've got this uh, grass tile. Grass tiles like to connect to water tiles or to other grass tiles. So I think simple place to drop this is probably just right here. Then we've got a new quest tile. This is for trees. Let's see what we can do. So if we drop it here, that's good on most sides, but it's it's not good on this top left side, where trees connect to grass. Let's see what else we can do. That's a little bit better, but there's still a bad side. So connecting as many sides as possible does improve our score, but only perfect scores, or only perfect hexes, uh, will actually increase the number of hexes we have. So I'm not sure where to place this one. But I think we just accept it's not going to be perfect, and I think we just go for it like this. 
that does enable us to finish off this hex right here as a perfect tile, so we can see it connects grass to grass on every side. Again, remember the, the sides of water do count as grass. So that's now done, that does give us an extra hex. Then we can continue to expand our railway over here. I'm not really sure what I want to do with this, um, but I'm kind of limited in my options, so I'm going to start expanding in that direction. Finishes off another quest, and we're back up to 50 hexes. Got some more trees we can connect with this one. Let's just see what we can do. That's really good. So that connects well on four different sides. Let's go for that. That finishes off a quest there too. Then we've got this thing which we can potentially connect. This connects well on three different sides and fulfills another quest. So we're now up to 58. This quest wants to connect to 206 trees in total. So we can now see another gameplay mechanic which is the flag. When the flag pops up, basically the game is trying to get us to close off that biome or that zone. Um, so the green flag here wants us to completely close off this forest to stop it connecting to any other forests. Um, and if we can do that, then we will actually get uh, an extra five hexes. It's kind of like a fulfilled quest. I don't want to do that just now. I do want to try and finish off this quest first, although the game's already decided it wants me to close this off, so perhaps a better option would be to just start building a completely new forest somewhere else. So let's start doing that there instead. Then we've got this hex, and this hex is a bit of water, a bit of grass, and a little bit of trees as well. I think we'll just go for this for now. We can maybe try and wind those trees around. Then we've got some more fields, which we will use to continue expanding in this direction. And this is a full forest tile, so it's six different sides of forests. Let's just connect it to this. And we can then start building that up. They both have the exact same requirements, that's pretty easy to do. Okay, now this is a tile that we can use to end a wheat field. So let's just drop it right there. Then we're pretty close to finishing these two off. Okay, so this particular tile contains both water and a railway. So that is a bit risky normally, but... It's probably going to be fine because it's, it's kind of a lake. So I don't think we have to worry about that too much. Let's just do this for now. Then we've got some more houses we can place. So this one is houses on three sides, then two sides of grass, and one side of uh, trees. So let's connect the trees to the trees and the houses to the houses. That should be fine. Okay, so this one is one side of trees, four sides of grass, one side of houses. Not too useful, really. Perhaps we just start closing off the forest. So we can see when we hover over this, it does tell us where it's currently able to connect. So this hex is one of them. And we can also see this hex is one of them as well. So let's close this one off now. And we've got some more fields we can expand, so let's just keep pushing in that direction. Then we've got a few more. This would enable us to finish off the quest, but it does put down a river, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure I want a river there, that does kind of limit our expansion. Uh, if we go for this instead, this does place pretty nicely. This fulfills a quest. I think that might be a good option. Let's go for that because we can probably connect the... Yeah, we can actually connect the water right now if we want to. This is not a great connection because it connects to uh, houses on two sides, but... I think we just go for it. And that connects all of these bodies of water together, plus it makes this hex perfect. Okay, so next up we've got this thing. This is a quest. It wants to connect to a total of three wheat fields. Uh, so I think... Well, it wants to connect to a total of nine wheat fields, sorry, but it connects to this and then it needs three more after this. Have to be a bit careful of the river. This could be difficult to expand. But let's try this for now. That finishes off that quest. And we've got a bit more river we can build. And um, we don't want to put this river here because that blocks off our field. Uh, which would be good for filling off these two flags. Both of these want us to um, completely close off the wheat field. But first we want to get three more wheat fields connected to it. So what we're waiting for there is a river tile with a bit of wheat on the side. Uh, so this particular one is not too useful to us. Let's just drop this on a side somewhere. This is probably okay, it's a bit ugly, but let's just get rid of it. Uh, so this is interesting, this is the end of a railway which is usually very valuable. Um, however, it's also a lot of, a lot of wheat fields. So I think we should actually put this here. 
And I think we should try and bring these wheat fields all the way down, if possible. Might be wishful thinking, but let's see. Okay, so this is a river tile with a wheat field on the end. So if we place this here, unfortunately that does actually end the quest. Fails the quest. So I'm not actually sure if it's possible to get a river tile with more than one wheat field on it. But if we were to place this here, although it would seal off the seal off the field, um, it would also fail the quest because there's nowhere left for that to expand and it wants to expand to join up to three more wheat fields. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think what I'll do for now is I'll place it here because it does like the look of that by the looks of it. Um, that's going to have to do for now. Alright, so if we zoom out we can see this is the world we've built so far. So we can see we've got this long winding uh, wheat field. Then to the west we've got a bit of a river forming. And to the north we've got a bit of a forest zone. Um, but we do want to try and close that off if possible. So for now we've got some more wheat fields so we can continue to expand in this direction. So let's just go ahead and do that. That does fill off a quest as well. Okay, so we've got this little end piece here. We could use this to maybe seal off part of this. This is an okay connection. It's not great. That's not great either. Perhaps we go for something like this and we try and connect to more wheat fields later on, which maybe we can here. Let's see. So if we rotate this round, we can connect to three, which is not bad. I think we just do that. That's fine. Okay, then we got some more trees. Let's just connect it to this. Keep building that up. Okay, so this quest wants us to connect to at least 29 other wheat fields. Uh, if we just go and drop this here, that's nice and easy to do. Aha, so this looks interesting. This is two wheat fields along with a river. Does this allow us to keep expanding? No, that's not good enough either. Two sides of wheat fields, one side of forest. Yeah, that still closes us in. Maybe we just accept it though. Not much of an alternative because the, the river there does have to connect to a river at some point. So I think probably except that I didn't quite handle that correctly. Um, that particular quest is going to be wasted. Let's just do that. It does close off the wheat field so it does complete the two flag quests but it does fail the other quest. So one thing about that that I have heard about this game and I'm not sure if this is true or not. Um, I've heard that the game does actually only have a limited number of quests to give you. So sometimes there's an argument for actually failing a quest. If that is true, I'm not actually sure. Um, but if it is true, there is an argument for failing quests in order to get access to more. Again, not actually sure if I can verify that one, but that's my excuse for that quest not quite going to plan. Uh, this lake tile, I think, can just go somewhere like this. It does kind of round all that off. Then we've got a couple more tiles of wheat fields. Let's just keep expanding in this direction. Uh, let's rotate this round. Let's go like that instead. Then we've got a wheat field and some railroad. I think the railroad has to take precedence over the uh, over the wheat field. Let's just keep going to the north. Okay, so this is mostly trees and two sides of houses. Not a lot we can do with that. Let's just keep the forest expanding. Okay, so this one is mostly houses, but there are two sides of wheat fields. We probably just do something like this. There's not a lot we can do with this really. Maybe we go for this. Connects well on three sides and not so well on two sides, I'm not sure about that. Let's go like this for now. Then we've got some more houses we can place, so this is houses on four sides and grass on two sides. That fits almost perfectly there, perfectly so far at least. Okay, so this one is wheat fields with a few forests. That's a good connection there. Let's go for that. Then we've got this one, which is kind of an awkward one. It's more houses and more trees. Mostly though, it's trees. So let's connect it like that. Then we've got even more trees. Let's just go it like that. Okay, so this is a very interesting type of tile. This is, I think it's called a water station. 
So the water station is interesting because it's a bit like a lake, you can place it pretty much anywhere, it treats its sides as being grass based. Um, but the good thing about this, and the reason this is one of the best tiles in the game, uh, is because it also works as a railway station. So we can see when we connect this to the railway, um, it actually can be used as an end of the railway. Um, and this is a really useful tile for connecting uh, rivers to railways, because sometimes they do start to cross paths with each other, which can cause some problems. I think for this one, we don't really care too much about the water. The water's going fine there. So let's just maybe sort this out. It's not a perfect connection because it does connect to the, to the trees and to the wheat fields, but um, this is a bit of an awkward track. It's not really going anywhere, so let's just drop that there. Close that off. Then we've got some more wheat fields, which we can use to start expanding in this direction. Let's go for that. We do have 53 hexes, so I think we can get there at some point. This is a pretty horrible tile. Um, this is exactly the type of tile we perhaps want to use a water station with or nearby to, um, because this just... It's three different endings of a railway track and two endings of a river. So that's kind of painful. I'm going to try putting it... Let's go with that. It's really awkward, but let's just do it. Then we've got some grassland and some houses. Let's just drop it there, perhaps. Although that does stop this wheat field from eventually making it to this wheat field. We want to try and join those together. So let's go for this instead. Then we've got houses, three sides of houses, three sides of grassland. This wouldn't be a terrible location for it, but... I'm not quite convinced by that. Let's just see what else we can do. I think in the absence of anywhere else obvious to put it, let's just drop it there. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is another quest tile. It's got a little little boat on it. Um, the boat is purely for visual effect. What it does usually mean if, is if you do get one of these boats, um, there's almost always going to be a quest attached to it, but it does just work the same as a lake. So let's just connect it right here. And that does make a perfect tile out of the, uh, the lake over there. That gives us an extra hex. Uh, this tile looks pretty awkward. So it's three sides of forest, but the forest is not connected through the center. And uh, then there's one house and one wheat field. Let's see if we can put this up here. I mean, that's okay. Let's just do that for now. Then we got some more houses. So the houses... Let's see what we can do. Not a massive fan of that. I think we do want to keep expanding our town. But yeah, not a great way to do this. Let's just drop it there for now. Then we've got another water quest. That should be pretty simple. Let's just connect it like that. Okay, another pretty complex tile here. It's two sides of wheat fields, two sides of grass, one side of houses, and one side of forest. So I'm not a fan of that one. Um, what can we actually do? So if we go like this, this does connect a house, and it does connect the two wheat fields. Um, there are three bad connections. No, I'm not sure we should do that. Got to be somewhere better. I'm going to connect house to house over here, and because we have 46 hexes left, we should be able to connect more wheat fields at some point. Uh, this one wants to be a field of 9 hexes in total. So let's just start it off like this. Then we've got a few more wheat fields that we can just connect to if we want to. I think I'd prefer that down here instead. I'm sure there's going to be somewhere good for this. Let's see. So this connects nicely on three sides, let's go for that. That finishes off the quest at the granary too. So we're up to 46 tiles. Okay, let's put this one up here because it's a bit of a dead end. Then we've got this pretty useless tile, it's forest on one side and trees on all the others. I guess we could use this to seal this off. Let's just do that. 
Still a couple more we need to seal off, yeah. So right here at the bottom, uh, there are two more hexes we need to seal off before we get the five tiles for completing that. Okay, next up, more houses. This connects nicely on two sides, let's just do that. And we got this. This connects nicely on two sides, makes it a bit difficult to expand the wheat field. There's only one actual um, edge we can do, which is the kind of southern edge just there. But let's just go with that for now. Okay, here we go. We finally got ourselves a quest involving houses. This one wants us to connect to 58 houses in total. That should be pretty easy to do. Now, if we connect like that, we just need nine more after that, so that's fine. Okay, so we got more trees and more houses. Let's try this, and we're going to try and loot these round at some point. 42 more hexes means we should have time. This one, I think, has to connect around here somewhere, but it doesn't really look too comfortable. That's a bit better. Three sides, a nice connection there. And we're getting closer to finishing off the boat's quest. Okay, so this one is some trees and some grassland. I think we just start trying to shut off this forest. So let's drop it there. It does make that a perfect tile. That works out. Okay, this wants to connect to nine more houses. Uh, so if we drop this, it will be five more needed after that. Okay, this hex, I think, we're just going to put here because it's mostly grassland, but there is a bit of uh, a bit of town that we can continue to expand into. Okay, as for this one, I'm not really sure. I think this looks pretty good. It fulfills the quest. It allows us to build a bit of a small town to the kind of southwest of our zone. Let's zoom out and let's have a look. So this is what we built so far. I do tend to go for this kind of snaking play style. I think it does work quite well. We can see we've got our different biomes expanding in different directions. So we've got the forest to the north, uh, the wheat fields are really stretching out far, and we've got the water zone to the west, and the towns are stretching out to the south. So I think that's working pretty well so far. Uh, this looks like a nice connection, let's just go for that. It does fulfill the next water quest too. We're back up to 47 hexes. Okay, this next one, this would seal off the um, seal off the wheat field, so we don't want to do that. Maybe we put it here instead. Although I think we should probably try and join this to the forest. Let's just go for that. Although let's look at this first. So we can join up the the wheat field on that side. Maybe we do this. I think that does seal off the forest. So let's go for that. Yep, does seal off the forest, so the quest is fulfilled, and we get ourselves a few extra hexes, so we can play on. Currently our score is 3,500. Let's just keep this going for now. Let's drop that there. A bit pointless, but it obviously does fit. Okay, so next up we've got two sides of trees, three sides of houses, one side of grassland. I'm sure there's somewhere we can put this. So that kind of works. But not brilliantly. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Okay, let's try this one instead. So, we want to connect grassland to grassland, houses to houses, and then there's a bit of a forest to the west, which doesn't really help us too much. We could try doing something with this instead. Yeah, that does actually connect quite nicely. Okay, so we'll go for that. Then we can continue to expand here, which should be fine. Not a perfect connection on one side, but that should be fine. Alright, so this could be used to keep expanding in this direction. Uh, we can almost finish off this field, but perhaps we should use this to keep expanding this instead. I do like to just keep this going, I think that does make sense. Okay, so this one is one house, one set of trees, and four layers of grassland. So let's try this perhaps. Not perfect though. That might be slightly better. Maybe even this. Or perhaps this. Okay, that looks a lot better. Let's go for that. Okay, this one is four houses, one side of trees, and one side of grassland. Should enable us to finish off the quest. Let's see what we can do. So there we go, that joins nicely on three sides, finishes off the quest, gets us five extra hexes. 
Uh, this one is one side of houses. For the most part, it's just extra wheat fields. Can we use this to connect? We could try, but it's not great. I don't think I'll do that. Try this instead. That seems okay. It does expand the wheat field number. Yeah, if we drop it there, it's not going to get us many points, but it is going to potentially help us with quests at some point. This is kind of the tension I was talking about, where you can kind of go towards um, just looking at what gives you the highest possible score, or you can go towards what's going to help you fulfill quests later on. This particular one... I could definitely justify putting it here, I think, but I will keep expanding this for now. So we've got this extremely long wheat field, which I'm hoping... I'm hoping that is a good strategy. I feel like it is. But we're going to keep that going. And then we've got some more trees we can drop. Let's just expand the forest to the north. And then we've got some more wheat fields and some more trees. So this is probably a pretty good connection. Let's go for that. And we've got a railway track. I think we just keep expanding this railway. Railways are really awkward. But yeah, I think we just keep this going. That seems okay. Let's go for that. Then we've got railway and wheat fields at the same time. Um, this kind of leads in a really awkward direction. So I guess we just do this. Ah, but that does mean that the river will clash with the railway, which is going to be a problem. We're going to need to put a water station there. Okay, so next we've got some river over here, which we should just connect, I think, like this. Then we've got some more forest and some more railway. This is also a quest, so we want to just join it on. But yeah, slightly awkward. I don't want it going towards the trees too much. But then again... It should be okay. Let's go for that. Okay, so next up we've got more trees, one more uh, wheat field. Let's go for that. Then we've got a full set of houses, which is going to be perfect for expanding this. Not too many great places to put this. This is a nice connection on four sides. But I think we just keep this expanding. Then we've got trees and one house. How does this work? Not a great connection, doesn't really directly connect the trees. Maybe this later on could work. Then this just wants to connect to trees, so let's just drop it there. We're going to have to link all this up at some point. Down to 38 hexes, so we can keep going for some time. Uh, this location is okay. This location looks good in theory, but it does mean that this little wheat field here doesn't connect too well to the rest. We could still use it for a smaller quest, but that's kind of leaving it to chance. I think we go for this instead. Finish off this quest. So we've immediately sealed that off. So we fulfill the quest. Um, so we've effectively completed the quest and sealed off the sealed off the wheat field at the same time, which is exactly what the game wants. So we do get ten extra hexes for that. Okay, so this one is three sides of grass, three sides of um, houses. Let's drop that there. Goes perfect. This one goes perfectly here, although it does mean that these two houses can't connect to the rest, but I, I think that's fine. Let's just do it. Gives us a perfect hex there as well. Okay, next up we've got a beaver dam. Let's zoom in on this. There's quite a nice amount of detail once you zoom in. Yeah, so beaver dams I think are just, like, aesthetic again. I don't think there's anything special about them, but um, they do connect to forests and they do give you quests. So this one wants to connect to exactly five pieces of uh, water. So let's just drop it there. So this is three branches, so if we want a really small amount of water um, to finish off that quest, we probably want this to be part of our main main water instead. Then we've got a perfect grass tile, which can probably just be dropped somewhere like this. Just surround it with water, that should be fine. This works too. That's even better. Four sides, perfect connection. Gives us two perfects there too. 
I actually really struggle to keep up with the perfects, I have to be honest. Usually when I get a perfect, it's just pure luck. And it was in that case too. But we'll take it. Okay. So this is, again, pretty awkward design. But let's just drop it there. It does fulfill a quest. Let's see about this. So we can connect the water, we can connect the wheat fields. That seems fine. Let's do that. Okay, so this is two sides of field. Mostly it's just grassland though. I'm sure there's somewhere good we can put this. Maybe this? That seems okay. Okay, so we've got another railway track. This is a train. So the train comes with a quest too. This guy just wants to connect to a big railway, so that should be pretty easy to do. Let's just drop him there. Then we've got houses, we've got wheat field, and we've got a river. That's a bit awkward. I'm going to stick this here, but I don't think it really joins very nicely. Perhaps here instead. Yeah, a bit of an awkward one. Now uh, this one is mostly fields, so perhaps we just add it to this. Yeah, we've not got any field related quests, so let's just drop it on the wheat fields right there. This is mostly grassland, but there are a couple of hexes of, uh, of trees. It could connect like this. That's not great though, I think we go to the top instead. Um, let's try and connect... Can we connect these two together? Yeah, so we can connect all of this together. I think that's worth doing. Let's do it. And we've got trees and wheat fields. So the wheat fields do connect across the center, so I'm just going to keep this going. I'm really hoping we get a few more quests for this, because right now it's not really serving much of a purpose. Okay, so we got some more grassland. Uh, let's probably just connect it up here. That should be fine. And then we got some more. Let's just build a bridge. Okay, this fulfills two quests and does enable us to continue expanding our forest. Let's do that. Then we've got some more perfect grassland. Ah, uh, this feels slightly wasted. This is not a perfect connection. I guess we just drop it here. It's not great, but let's just see what we can do. Okay, so we've got some more houses. Let's connect them like that. Be fine. Gives us a perfect tile. Okay, so this is a river. If we drop it there, it connects perfectly to three sides. This also connects perfectly to three sides. Let's just do that. Okay, then we've got a couple of houses. Let's do that. Then we've got some wheat fields and some houses. How about this? Oh, that's nearly perfect. Let's go for that. Okay, so time to solve a problem we set up. We're going to drop the water station right here. It's going to connect the railway to the river. There we go. That's much better. Alright, so this one wants to connect to 91 houses. If we just drop this here, that connects to um, almost the full number. Just need 12 more after this, which should be fine. Then we've got a three-branch river. That's a perfect connection, but we're actually running out of room here. I think it should still be fine. That's a perfect connection too. Then we've got some more farmer's fields. We can go for an almost perfect connection there, or a perfect connection there, let's go for that. Okay, so I really want to try and join this up to the bigger wheat field if possible, but if not possible we can use this for a smaller quest, if needed. Uh, this one is probably just best off added to our forest. We can try and connect these together as soon as possible, that'd be great. Let's put it there. Then we've got some more houses with a bit more grass. Building a bit of a suburb over in this part of the world. Not too much nature. Let's go for this, that's probably fine. And then we've got railroad, which connects to river. So if we drop it there, that doesn't join up the two bodies of water, which is probably a good thing. Um, and it also allows us to continue expanding the railway. Finishes off a quest too. Okay, so houses joining to houses and grass joining to grass. Let's go for that. And then we've got a big forest, which will enable us to join this whole forest together. However, we can now see the green flag has appeared. Um, so the game wants us to shut off this entire forest, which is kind of a problem because that was 
That was my main forest. Don't really want to do that. But we can start building a new one, perhaps even here. That could work. Let's see what we can do. It doesn't join up too nicely just here. I think we do connect these. Yeah, that fulfills the quest, so that's done. Um, it's going to be really hard to seal this off, but I think we should try at some point. Uh, so this is... A bit awkward, but we do need to drop it somewhere. Let's try this, actually. Might be better. No, it doesn't actually connect to the, the houses there. That might be okay. Let's do that. So we're going to expand the forest to the west, and we're going to try and expand the town to the east. Um, so this is a perfect connection. So far at least. Let's just go for it. Then I think I will give this body of water the option of continuing to expand to the west. So let's go for that. And we've got houses on one side and trees on the other. So we probably want this to be... Somewhere around this. Let's go with that for now. And let's see if we can bridge them together. Not too nicely. That's a good connection. Let's go for that. Okay, so we've got a lake tile coming up. So perhaps... If we go for this... That's going to finish that quest, but it's going to be kind of awkward to actually seal off the water. Maybe we just use the lake for that instead. So I'm going to put this here instead. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. Doesn't really help us. Yeah, I'm going to put this here. Then the lake tile, I'm just going to drop right there. That finishes off that body of water, and yeah, so we do get a blue flag pops up. We're going to have to seal this all off somehow. This is an okay connection and it does seal off part of the lake. Let's do it. Then we've got lots of fields. So this wants to join to a couple of houses and some trees. Doesn't really work for us. That's okay. But I'm, I'm pretty tempted to just keep this going. I mean, it seems fine so far. Okay, so this wants to connect to 402 trees. So what we could do... The thing is, this is an unlimited one. This wants to just keep connecting to trees. So if we're, think if we're thinking super long term, we shouldn't connect this to a forest that has a green flag on it. Either that, or we just commit to ignoring the green flag for the rest of the game. But... Don't think that's wise. This is... Pretty close to perfect. Just need to get one more tile. It does give us a perfect tile there too. Okay, so 42 hexes left to go, so we're still doing okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, that doesn't quite work. That seems okay, but it's going to be difficult to join the wheat fields together. Let's try that instead. Then we got some river and some houses. Could put it there. Let's see, can we use this to seal anything off? So we could actually just completely divorce this little bit of uh, this little bit of river to the east. Completely cut it off from the water station. That helps us seal it off. But don't really think we should do that. I think we should find somewhere in this part of the map. I mean, that's okay for now. Let's just do that. Then we've got a full grass tile. So we've got some okay connections available, but not too great. That seems okay. Let's just put that there. Then we've got a few more trees. That's a pretty good connection. Not perfect. Oh, that's really good. Let's definitely go for that. Okay, so at last we've got ourselves uh, coming up, not just yet, but we've got ourselves coming up a full full wheat field tile. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. So this wants to... Oh, I get it now. Yeah, this is not a plus quest. So this wants us to seal off our town. 
I don't really like the idea of that, um, but we might not have a choice. So perhaps we start building a new town somewhere else. Maybe here? It's a bit late though. Ah, uh, okay, so it comes with a quest attached, so that's not actually so great for us. It wants to connect to exactly 14. So this is obviously way too much. So we're going to need to find somewhere else. Maybe we just start building from here? We have got coming up some more wheat field plus the end of a railway track. So that seems like an okay location. Let's drop that there. Then we got some more trees. So we're building our new forest just down here. Let's just drop the trees there. Then we got some more wheat field. This is kind of limiting us because we're coming to the to the end of the railway track. Maybe I was a bit brazen putting the railway track there, the end of it, because it doesn't really doesn't really help us right now. I could start blocking this off some more. That's not a bad connection. If we go down here instead. That's probably better because maybe we will just seal off this town. It's not the end of the world. Then we go back to this. Yeah, I think because of the interaction with the railway tracks, this is not actually a very good place for this quest. Kind of regret that. Okay, so this one could be a bit of an expansion of the wheat field. The endless wheat field, which continues to expand. This one's to connect to 25 houses. So if we start going for this... That's probably doable. We're down to 32, so we are starting to run out of steam, that's the thing. That's what you have to be careful of. It really creeps up on you. Gotta be careful. So this is mostly forest. A little bit of wheat field. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this is all out forest. Let's just drop it right there. And we've got all out grass. We've got a three sided connection there if we want to go for that. Yeah, that seems okay. Okay, so time for the railway track. How does this connect? Not very well at all. Not very nicely. I guess that's okay, actually. Yeah. That kind of solves our problem slightly. There's still this railway track end there, which we need to connect to something, but... We just spin this round. That's okay. Okay, so this one wants to connect to exactly 56. That's a bit demanding. Um, that is the equivalent of this entire field and more. I mean, can I even seal this off? This is a monstrosity. I'm not sure I can. This is just pure farmland. I mean, I probably could. I'd feel a bit bad. We don't have to seal it off, we could just ignore the flag, but... This does keep us in the game, so... I mean, when else are we going to fulfill this quest? I think we kind of have to. Okay, so at some point we might have to try and seal all that off. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but we'll have to think about it. Okay, so one house here, we could just use this to finish off this quest. I mean, yeah, let's just do it. Gives us a perfect hex too. But yeah, we're still down to 36, so it's tough. Slowly but surely, we are running out. This is a good connection. Let's do that. Then we got some houses. Does this seal it off? Not quite. Um, this actually joins it to the rest of the river, which we don't want. I think we could go somewhere like this instead. Yeah, that does work. Okay, so wheat fields plus grass. We could start sealing off some of this. We can find a two-sided connection like that. That's okay. I already kind of regret this. I really don't want to seal off this wheat field. 
Uh, it's one of the few things that's going really well for us right now. Just seem to have endless potential to expand this. In any case, we do need a few more. So... Maybe just this. It's not great though. How about we look up here instead? We can connect nicely on two sides there. If we can expand this away from the railway somehow, that would be perfect. But no, it's not great for that. Um, I think we're going to have to... Just going to have to put it here. Yeah, just start sealing that off a bit. It's, it's not great, but... We're going to do it. Okay, so this one is pretty much just grass, all out surrounding of grass. So it does go nicely there, plus it ends the river there, which is good if we want to expand this town. Let's drop it there. Okay, so this is pretty a pretty limited town. So it doesn't really matter too much if it's not perfect. We just need to connect it to 13 more. 31 more hexes to go till we're out of the game. Uh, if we try to drop this round here, um, that is that is a good thing to do, I think. Okay, now this wants to connect to 437 trees. So we're a long way off pulling that off, but we'll have to give it a go. Okay, so we've got a bit more railway track. We could use this to turn away from our wheat field. I think that's fine, let's do it. Uh, we got ourselves another quest. This one wants us to connect a windmill. The windmill is just, uh, again, just kind of an effect. Um, a visual accent. Similar to the train. Or to the boat. It's one of those things that pretty much always comes with a quest. But it's it's really just an aesthetic thing. It's not... It's not important. Looks nice, though. But yeah, we need to seal that off with four bits of... Uh, four more fields. But wow, this railway track is becoming... Pretty unwieldy, but let's just keep expanding it. It's a bit awkward. Okay, now this wants to connect to 106 houses. We've not got a flag telling us to seal this off. Or I can't see one. So perhaps we can just keep this town going. Yeah, I thought you always get a flag for that type of quest where you have a, an exact number you need to get. But, unless I'm missing something... I'm not seeing one. So maybe we can join all this together. Little bit of forest. Does 26 hexes give us enough time to join this up? I'm not sure it does. I think we accept the imperfection. How about this? That doesn't actually join up the houses. This isn't bad. Let's do that. A couple of perfect hexes too. Great, okay. So this could join our forest if we want it to. It's not great though. A bit basic. But just got to keep adding trees to that I think. Haven't really got much of a choice. Uh, this one is not going to join up nicely to the town. Well, perhaps it will. If we do that, that's okay. Should we use it for this instead? No. I think we just do this. Or we could even go for this. Because you don't have to expand the lakes. It's the rivers you have to keep expanding. Lakes don't matter so much. Perhaps something like this. Sure. Maybe I'm getting a bit sloppy now, but let's just see what we can do. So we've got a bit more river. Can this seal anything off? That might be okay. we still got quite a bit we need to seal off there. That is a really nice connection there, though, so maybe not. Maybe that's not the way we should do it. If we want to get perfect tiles, we need to keep working on things like that. Um, I'm going to regret that. We only have 24 left. Starting to run out bit by bit. This is a way of sealing this off. 
Not a perfect way, though. I think we should worry more about the houses than the wheat field. The wheat field is just one wheat field. Bit of a dead end, too. Can we use it to bridge this gap? Sort of. That's okay, too. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep expanding this. Because we're nearly done with that quest. That's not going to be too bad. And let's join these up. And we've got some more wheat field and a house. That seems okay. Okay, so this railway track is becoming uh, pretty nightmarish. I feel bad for the people who live here. I'm not sure where this goes or why. But we're just going to try and get rid of these awkward tiles. Just send them off into the wilderness. Not really much else we can do. Uh, we've not got any railway related quests. So, really, as we're starting to run out of hexes, we should maybe think about what else we've got on our tile. Um, so we could join this to the forest, but that kind of limits our expansion in the forest because of the, the railway. Kind of gets in the way a bit. We could use it to seal this off, though. I'm sure there's a way we can do that. Something like this. Let's go for that for now. Then we've got maybe a similar situation with the river. Let's see where this joins up. That seems okay. Let's go for that. Okay. Does this seal this off? It doesn't quite, so I'm not going to put that there. I think maybe the next tile we can. This tile is... That's a nice connection. Is there anything else we need water for? Something to seal off. I think we go for this, just because it connects on four sides. It does give us a perfect tile there as well. Okay, now we can seal this off, I think. Let's see. No, there's still this little hex here I think we need to block off somehow. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, so this needs eight more houses. Let's just drop that there. Then we've got the end of a railway track. I'm almost tempted to just use this for the trees instead, but we're down to 16 more hexes, so we're running out of options. Thing is, we don't have any railway-related quests. We do have tree-related quests, and I'm not that worried about if the railway just leads to nowhere. That's not really my problem. Um, so maybe I just... Just keep expanding this. I need the track to point somewhere that's not going to cause us too many problems. I guess that's fine. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, so what quests do we need to resolve? So we need to connect three more um, to that up there. We need to collect 11 more to this. Let's see. So if we go for... That's going to be hard to seal off if we need to seal it off. Maybe we just do this, though, because we're running out of hexes. We just need to try and start finishing off some quests. Uh, this one, quite simply, just needs to add to the forest. Okay, let's start sealing this off. Okay, so that's two quests done. That gives us ten extra hexes, so we bought some time. And yeah, it does want us to seal this off, so that's going to be kind of awkward. Um, let's try and, try and keep this going. This partly seals this off. We're getting towards finishing off that quest. 21 hexes to go. We join this up. That gives us the 7 houses needed. If we join it up there, that's too many. So yeah, this hex has... Have a look. It does have exactly 7 houses, so that's one too many for this quest. So we have to join it up to this. Uh, ideally, we're going to connect it to a forest somewhere. But, if we do that, it doesn't actually directly connect, although we can see there is, there is one coming up. Ah, it's actually a quest one. Yeah, that really caught me out. So we could have joined it up like this, but if we do, we instantly fail that quest. Thing is though, 35 houses, when is that going to happen? Can't see that happening at all.
We could have this as a separate town, but... That might be a bit of a luxury, but still, we're gonna try it. So we're gonna have to try and... These two hexes right here, these two... We're gonna have to try and cut them off from the rest of the town. Just have to completely ostracize them. Okay, so if we spin this around... That seems okay, let's go for that. Then we've got the end of a railway, we could just seal this off. But no, I think we go back to this. So we want to try and seal off these farms. Not sure. I'm sure there's something useful we can do with this, but... We don't have any quests related to this. Let's just seal it off there, I guess that's okay, it's... Not really the right move, I think, but... Just have to keep this going. That's an okay connection. Let's see, so this one wants to connect to three more houses after this. Uh, if we go for this, that doesn't really work. If we go for this, that doesn't work either. Need to connect the houses somehow. That's an okay option. I think we just stick it on to an end. Like this. Then we've got a water station. So we want to really try and seal this off, but I'm, I'm not sure how we do it. Maybe this little bit here is just not going to cooperate with us. The thing is, if we drop it somewhere like this, that does give us a perfect hex of this hex here. It's a completely plain one. So that does buy us an extra one hex. Okay, so we have to ask ourselves which quests are easy to solve at this point. How can we get easy wins? Let's try this. Then let's see. Okay, so that should seal it off, actually. So, false alarm. There we go, we've sealed that off. Finish off that quest. And we've got ourselves a few extra hexes. Uh, we can continue to expand the forest. The problem with the forest is it's really nowhere near done. That's a nice connection, but 212 more trees needed. We're nowhere near. Uh, so we've got to seal off this place. That's fine, that'll do. Just want to try and seal this off as quick as possible. 17 hexes to go. Uh, so we can try and finish off this quest. That does connect. So if we connect here, we connect in a couple of different places. So it drops from 8 to 6. Also potentially allows us to connect the, the houses at some point. Okay, new skin unlocked for the granary. I think that just affects um, the way it spawns sometimes. It's going to look more flashy. Like if you look at the water stations, for example, we have a couple of different skins unlocked. You do gradually get achievements as you progress through the game, so currently moving towards overachiever, overachiever 3. 50,000 points, that will probably unlock a new skin. Uh, True Fan 1 will probably unlock, I imagine, a new windmill. Landscaper 3, something else. You do gradually unlock things, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so can we use this to seal anything off? I want to try and seal this off, that's all I care about. Don't really care too much about the railway. That should be fine. Let's just drop it there. Okay, this is part of a quest. Yeah, so this is the thing. This is kind of how the game pulls me in different directions. I wonder if I should have just ignored this green flag and just kept on building this forest, because if I kept on building this forest, I wouldn't have had to bother with this forest. I could have added it all to this one, and these three quests would have been much easier to do. If I connect there, then I just need 90 more, plus it moves this next quest towards being done. If I connect here, it's still another 200 trees. So, I feel like I need to connect here instead. Up at the top. Still gonna try and seal this off bit by bit, but... How about this? This is close to perfect. This does give us, I think, a couple of perfect tiles. It in itself is not perfect, but yeah, a few perfect tiles out of that, so I think that's okay. Okay, next up we've got this. So there's a railway track, which is not ideal, but if we're seriously trying to seal off this long farm, it's not, not such a bad call. But again, 
would we actually want to seal off this farm, or is this the exact same situation as the forests? We might want to just keep this farm going. We might need it. Okay, railway track. Do we care more about the railway track, or do we care more about the, the fields? I think we just ignore the fields. And we go for this. Then we got some more trees. Let's connect them like that. Then we got a few more trees. That's a good connection. Not perfect though. Five more trees needed for this. So if we just do this, we just need one more tree to finish off a quest there. So we do that. Okay, so this one wants us to connect to 489 trees. So there's obviously a massive incentive to just keep this forest going. But then that makes all of this kind of pointless. Kind of a mistake. But yeah, the temptation to just keep this forest going is pretty big. I'm gonna keep it going for now. Finish off a quest. We need 17 more trees there. That's probably fine. Meanwhile, over here we just need to... I think try and finish off this quest to connect six more fields. Let's do that for now. Then we've got a couple more. So not too many connections available. Um, if we go for this, then... At some point, we probably can connect these fields to this much bigger network of fields. If I'm understanding this correctly now from what I've learned in this session, I think filling this out doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get a flag. So we might just be able to keep this going. I'm going to go for this. Okay, then we've got some river. So we have no river or railway related quests. So I'm not really benefiting too much from this right now. I think we just keep this expanding. Not really too much else we can do. Okay, this one's to connect to 18 fields. Could try and shut this off, but we need 12 more for that, which is just a bit too much. Um, it's obviously, this field, this long field, is just way too long. Where is this going to go? I'm surprised that's 16 fields. Doesn't look like that many to me. But that does fail the quest, so I think we just have to go for this. Just not connect this. Okay, so then we got houses and water. Let's just give them a nice little lakeside over there. Then we got railway tracks and houses. Okay, we can seal this off, this really awkward loop that serves no purpose whatsoever. Uh, we can keep expanding this. That seems okay. Where do we actually expand this town? We haven't failed the quest. Oh, no way. So I've almost sealed off this town. The only way I can finish this quest... That was a mistake. Only way I can finish off this quest is by getting a tile that contains exactly five houses. I don't know how common that is, but that might be a problem. Uh, that would seal off our farm. Let's do it like this. Okay, some more trees needed over here. Let's go for... This is a nice connection on three sides, let's go for that. A couple of perfect tiles, and finishes off quest two. Alright, so we've got a couple more farms, so let's just keep expanding this, or in fact... Maybe we keep expanding this instead. That's not a bad connection. Just need one left after that. And it's the moment of truth, we will find out if we do need to, or if we're going to be instructed or encouraged to seal off this massive farm or not. I'm hoping we won't. This is... a couple of sides of grass. That seems to work well, let's do that. Okay, so we've got one house and one river. I'm not sure what to do with that. Yeah, this isn't too useful to us. Um, bit of a crap tile, really. Just gonna drop it there. 619 trees. 
So if we want to fulfill that quest, we obviously need to connect it to this forest. Because this forest is hopeless. Yeah, if there's one thing that is maybe going to doom this run... It's taking that green flag too seriously. I could have benefited from having all this connected. Just going to go for this. Okay, so we've got rivers and railway tracks. We just want this to cause as few problems as possible. So let's just do that, I guess. Down to 10, though. That's not good. We do this. This is now finished. Okay, so that gets us five more tiles. And yeah, the yellow flag has popped up. So the game wants us to seal all this off. I'm not sure how that's really going to work. Um, we need houses and railway. So we obviously do that. Then we've got a couple more fields. Let's do that. Then we've got the corner of a river. I wish we had some more quests for this. Guess we just drop it up there. Not much we can do. Alright, so this one is grassland and trees. An okay connection there. That's pretty much a perfect connection. That fulfills a quest. Let's do it. Okay, so 83 more trees needed. To seal this off, we still have many hexes we need to go for, which I can't see that happening. Uh, we can kind of seal this off. How should we do that? I think we just go for that for now. Uh, we can continue to grow this. Go for that. Gives us a perfect tile too, that's nice. Alright, so 83 trees needed up there. Down here we need still that 200 trees. Uh, we need to get 22 houses down in this part of the world. Or well, three more houses connected to this, that's an easy win. That doesn't join up. That doesn't join up either. That's not a bad join. It's not great though. But I think it's okay. It does give us a perfect tile, it does finish off the quest, so we're back up to 20. This looks okay. Three sided join. Maybe here instead though. Try and join all this up. Maybe this. Because we're trying to seal off this little bit of a town from the rest of the town. I'm not sure. Let's look at this instead. Yeah, it's not too good up there. Uh, we could spin it around just to try and seal off this farm. Let's do it. So we close that off. We close down two flags. Get ourselves a few extra hexes. Okay, so this one needs six more. So if we were to go for... That's not really a great connection. Uh, if we were to go for... Spin this round. There's no great connection possible there. This is one house. Perhaps we could connect one house to something. Um, that's not too good. That makes it really hard to expand that town. So perhaps we focus on the trees instead. I guess so. Okay, 28 more hexes, so we've got a fair bit to work with still. We're not out yet. That's not a bad connection. One thing I will say about this game is, if you want to take it really seriously, you definitely can. Uh, because if, if I were super serious about getting a super high score here, I could literally look through every single free hex and look for one that comes as close as possible to connecting with, in this example, two grass on opposite sides, um, three forest, and one house. But I think for most players that's going to be a bit too hardcore. This continues to be a dilemma. I'm just going to put this here. Yeah, so we're getting so many forest quests. It just makes sense to keep the forest going. Got a decent looking connection here. What can we do? That's not bad. Let's put it there. Okay, so we've got field and we've got lake. Something like that, perhaps. 
It's not great though. Field plus lake connects quite nicely to most of the hexes here. So if we go like that, there are two bad sides. Um, if we go like that, there are two bad sides too. I think we go like this. That should get us, yeah, a couple of perfect hexes. That's good. All right, let's go back to this. Oh no, this is the next one. Okay, so this one is more... More houses, more trees. We're just going to keep expanding that. Then we've got this, which we're going to drop on top of this. Then we've got houses and railway. I think we'll put that there. Okay, this one's to connect to a size of 30. That's kind of an awkward number. That's... Not really going to work. I mean, we can keep it going for 15 more. But we've got 23 more hexes to go. I'm not sure how long we can really keep that going. I'm going to try and connect all this. There might be a way to do it. We're going to try it. And then we got this. This thing, we just need to... Just need to keep these houses joining up. Bit by bit. Let's go with that for now. Okay, so we've got some trees, some farmer's fields, and some grass. Uh, we just want to keep expanding this forest here, I think. That's a pretty good connection. Maybe we just go for this, because I'm, I'm not really too bothered about the farmer's field. That does fulfill a quest. So we still need to connect 56 more trees. Uh, this one wants to connect to... Yeah, this is... This is the dilemma. This wants to connect to 71. 71 farmer's field. So I think we just ignore this flag, because we don't want to seal this off. The game is kind of tricking us. That's not the way to handle it. Um, perhaps... We can link it to a tree somewhere. Something like that. It's not great though. So we obviously want to link it to this big field. We want to link it to the trees at the same time. Um, that doesn't quite link up. Maybe we just join it like this. That's probably fine. Let's do it. Okay, this wants to join up with 19 houses. Let's just stick it like that. Then we've got some more trees, we've got some more river. That's not a bad connection. Yeah, maybe we try that. It's not perfect, but I, I quite like it. It does give us one perfect as well. Alright, so now we've got some more trees. Again, just got to keep this thing going, I think. It's a bit of a monstrosity. Just join it like that, I guess. Then we've got a big pile of houses. So we want to connect to 15 in total. This is 7 houses again, so it's too much to fulfill this. Uh, that last one we dropped was 4 houses. So I think in order to finish this off, our best hope is... We need a, we need a hex where there are... Four different sides with houses on them. Till that happens, we're going to have some trouble. We can just join it up like this for now. Let's do that. Then let's go back to this. So we don't want to seal this off yet. This is not too useful to us. Let's just drop it there. Really not too useful to us. Okay, so next up we can try and keep expanding this little farm, or we can go back to this farm instead. Uh, this farm does complete a quest for us once we connect three more three more tiles, so I guess we just go like this. That does finish that off. Um, but we have to actually potentially make sure that these two farms don't meet up at all. Even though they are right next to each other, they are two completely separate entities, and we don't want them to meet. Uh, this looks like an okay place for this, let's just drop it couple of perfect hexes, and now we have yet another tree quest. Just got to keep joining this, I think. This one is five sides of houses, um, so that's too much for this. But might work nicely with this. Let's just drop that there. 
Then we've got ourselves another water station. So I think the railway tracks are bothering me more than the water. The water's fairly okay. We could use it to get ourselves another perfect hex somewhere. It is very good for that. Maybe we just end the track there. But ending a track in itself doesn't actually bring you that much. Uh, I think maybe... Maybe we just connect like that instead. That feels really wasteful, but... It's somewhere to put it. I mean, we're not really getting much out of our water. Or our tracks. Okay, so this thing is two houses, so that's too much for this quest. Uh, maybe we go... Does that work? That can work at some point, let's just go for that. And uh, then we've got these two, which can join, uh, expand the field. So if we go like that, we can continue to expand the field in that direction. If we go like this, that's actually even better. Okay, then we've got lots of trees and some farmer's fields. Let's just stick them onto this. Somewhere, if we can. Thought I'd almost sealed this off then. I don't think I actually want to do that. Okay, so three more trees needed there. Two more houses here, we can probably just stick this somewhere. Doesn't really matter too much. That's probably fine. Okay, then we got some more farmer's fields, which can continue to expand this farm. Um, we do want to try and link all this up, so let's go for this for now. Then we got a river and a house. Let's stick it on the end there, that should be fine. And uh, then we got some more... Some more farmer's fields which we can connect to this. It's gonna become quite hard to seal off if we're not careful. But I still quite like that. Though maybe it's better for this. A longer farm. Then we can really keep expanding that. 15 hexes to go, is that gonna be enough to finish off Six more farmer's fields. I think I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to try and finish off this quest first. That should be fine. Okay, so we've got some railway tracks. And that is a nice connection there. That seals that off. Do we want to seal that off? That's actually in danger of being completely sealed off. We have no option to keep expanding it. Um, so we probably don't want to do that just yet. Just in case we do get another quest. I think we just stick it on this. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so this is five houses. So I think even though this is not a perfect connection at all, we just stick it here. We do get a perfect there though. So that gets us six extra hexes so we can play on a bit longer. Uh, we got three houses here. Need one house to connect to this. We got some trees we can connect. That seems okay, that finishes off a quest. Gives us a perfect two, so that's another six hexes. Okay, so this one's mostly trees, some houses, some farmer's fields. Have we lost a quest there? I thought we had two quests there, so unless one of them's been... revoked. Or I've forgotten something, I'm not sure what's happening. I guess we keep working on this. So, let's try and join this up somewhere. Could just play it simple. But we want to get a good connection if possible. That's not too bad. I might actually do that. Yeah, I mean that's nearly perfect. We're not going to get much better than that. We do have a couple of perfects nearby too. Okay, so we've got a lakeside house. That's not a bad place for it. Might be our best option. Yeah, that seems fine. A couple of perfects in there. Okay, so we got to connect to... three more bits of farmland after this. Or we can keep expanding this. That's a nice connection, I'm just going to go for that. We've got 24 hexes, I'm sure we can probably finish that off at some point. Uh, then we need one more house to finish all this off, so... that's fairly straightforward. Just drop it there. And that quest is done. Now it wants us to seal that off. I'm sure we can, but for now, I'm going to keep expanding the other town. 
Yeah, you can see, I don't know if I even mentioned this, um, but we can see that the, the things glow to what they're about to connect to. So there is a bit of a divide between these two towns. If we were to drop it here, it would connect both the towns together, which would be great if we had a big quest we needed to do. Um, but we actually want to seal this little town off um, to the south instead. So we're going to drop it there. And we've got some river. This river is nothing special. Let's just stick it there. Okay, so we finally got ourselves a water quest. It wants to connect to exactly nine. That's probably doable quite soon. Yeah, so we could drop this right here. Then it will want us to seal this off. We'll see if we can do that. I'm sure we can finish that quest off pretty quick. Okay, so this is a bit of a horrible hex. It's just grassland really with a couple of houses. Uh, an end point for a farm. Not really useful. We can maybe use this to kind of seal this off. Yeah, not sure what to do with this one. Um, we want to start sealing this farm off, so I guess that does kind of work. Then we're very nearly finished off with this quest. But that's going to be kind of awkward to seal off. Yeah, maybe we go for this instead. So, where could this connect? Yeah, it doesn't really work. I think... I think I still want to use this for this, just because these... These kind of hexes, where you've got three sides that are the same type, we're so close to finishing this off, that I do just want to be able to seal that off as soon as possible to fill, um, to fill the flag quest. So I'm going to stick this here instead. Okay, so this is more like it. We can easily start sealing some of this off. Let's just put an end there. Okay, then we've got some more rivers and some more trees. The game will want us to seal this off, which might be kind of awkward. Although, that's not bad. Let's just do that. Five extra hexes. Okay, so now we've got another farm end. Ah, but that actually brings it to an end. So we need a bit more than that. We might just want to stick this somewhere. And not worry about it too much. Could use it to help seal this. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this is three sides of farms. That's maybe a bit too much. We've got 24 hexes to go, so it's not not super urgent we close this off. I'm going to go here instead. Now uh, this is kind of a similar situation. Let's do that. Aha, okay. So this is exactly why I didn't want to seal off this railway track. This train wants to connect to at least 38 pieces of railway. Um, so we need to find somewhere somewhere along this track that you can do that, although... Crap. Doesn't look like I've left myself anywhere to connect this guy. Um, I could connect him up here, but it's going to be a massive task to try and connect this to this kind of wider, wider rail network. I could stick it somewhere like this, and the next time... Next time a water station pops up, I can just drop it there. I don't think it would actually finish the quest, but still. I think that's the best option. Okay, so next we've got a lake. Um, there's no, no blue flag there, so we don't need to seal that off. That's not a problem. So we can pretty much put this anywhere we like. This would probably buy us a few hexes. It's not a perfect connection though. I think I might go for it though. Let's see. One extra hex. Okay, so nothing special. Okay, this one wants to connect to exactly 63 houses. So we could just ignore this flag for now and just expand this small town a bit. It's a bit of a risk. This town's too big to connect to. I might go for that. 22 houses isn't too much, we might be able to do that. And then this one wants to be sealed off, but we're not ready to do that just yet. Uh, let's probably... 
connection like that is not too bad. Not too good either. Uh, that's a pretty nice connection. Let's do that. Gives us a perfect two. And yeah, 812 it wants to connect to. So we have to keep this forest going. I'm just going to completely ignore that flag for the rest of the playthrough. I probably won't be able to because it's going to annoy me, but we have to keep this forest going. Just makes perfect sense. Okay, so we've got a river with houses on one side and grass on the other. I feel like that would go quite well somewhere like this. Stick it on. And we've got some more trees. Not a bad connection. I think we just keep snaking it away. Somewhere like this. Then we've got a river with two bits of farmland. Um, so this would not finish off this quest, so we don't want to put it there. I guess we just keep building farms, uh, keep building houses along the side of the river there. Might be able to do something with it later. Then we've got this, which can connect to this. Let's go for it. And then we've got five more that can connect. Let's connect like that. Okay, now this looks promising. Yep, so we just need to seal that off now, so that quest is done. A uh, flag does pop up. These next couple of farmlands we're going to put down to the south instead. What you may notice, by the way, is there are different biomes and kind of different climes and climates as you move across the map, so we've actually got a nice little, nice little world coming together now. We've got this big stretching city to the south. To the southeast we've got our massive farmers network, I guess. And then we've got these kind of weird... I mean, my, my rail networks are always a complete mess. You actually get the option of continuing to play in creative mode uh, after you lose the game. But I probably wouldn't do it because my, my worlds always end up not looking very pretty so far. But yeah, you get these different biomes appearing. So we can see that around here, it's all very fresh and very green. But over in this direction, it becomes a lot more autumnal. But yeah, I think we keep expanding this. Let's drop it there. Uh, we've got a lake which connects pretty nicely to all of those hexes, but let's not bother with that. Uh, where can we put that which would be more useful? That's not a bad place. Keep the water going. Maybe this instead. Then we can seal it off if we want to. Okay, so we've got a railway track here. We're just going to, I think, connect it to, to this. Try and keep that going as far as we can. Ah, crap, misclick. That was not good. First misclick of the playthrough. That does not connect to anything. Okay, could have done without that. We're down to... Down to just 15 hexes. Starting to run out of options. This is not a bad connection. Um, I think we want to finish off this quest first. There we go, so we've got another five. Okay, so this one next, perhaps. Connects well in two places, and we can start building a bit of a forest to the southwest. I'm gonna go for this. Okay, then we've got a lot more forest. Let's drop it there. This wants to connect to exactly 27 houses, so I think even this is too big, yeah. Where can we start connecting? So this is not a bad place. This is not bad either. Thing is, I would probably like to join it up to the Mega Town at some point. So I guess... I guess we go for a bit of a riverside town there. To see what we can do. Okay, I need to be careful now. So let's look at the quest we have left. So this is not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, this needs 40 trees, which is not too hard to do. 14 houses for that, that's not too bad. 5 fields for that, that's not too bad. And this just needs to be sealed off, which I might be able to do right now. That fills 2 of those, so we're back up to 24 hexes. Alright, so next up. That seems okay, I guess. 
Let's go for it. Yeah, we have no water-related quests, so nothing too much to worry about, really. Guess we'll just expand this lake. And we've got a couple more bits of farmland which we can stick on this. Let's keep going southeast. Uh, okay, so this does not, despite being a three-branched path, this does not immediately solve our problems. Um, I'm going to have to try and link all this together somehow. I think I'll just stick this here for now. I hope we can do something with it later. This one's to connect to 14 more houses, so I guess this is an okay way to seal it off. Start doing that at least. Then we got some farmer's fields and some water. Let's put that there. And a few more farmer's fields. That seems like a good location. Let's go for that. Slightly weird tile here. We've got one house, one bit of water, um, one farmer's field. It does connect nicely there, but that kind of seals it all off. Not completely, but quite a lot. I'm not sure I like that. Maybe this instead. Or... Could even keep building up this town. I do need to do that at some point. Could also seal a bit of this. Let's go for that. Because we will seal that off at some point. And then we bring this up to here. This is... Again, an awkward bit of track that doesn't really help us too much. Uh, let's just keep this railway expanding. Give it more options to expand. Then we've got three houses we can connect. That's a pretty nice connection, let's go for that. And this is also a nice connection, although it doesn't help us fulfill any quests. So I have to decide if that's worth it. I think... I think I quite like that. Aha, so we've found our first hidden tile. Um, these give you quests, and the quests are usually just to completely surround them with the same type of terrain. Once you do that, you can unlock new, um, I wouldn't say new features, but like new aesthetics. So, we'll start moving towards that. This one's to connect to 142 houses. I'm sure we can connect it to this. I'm sure we can make this work. So this town doesn't really connect to forests in too many places. So I guess we just stick it there. That should be fine. 25 more houses needed. This one needs 40 trees. So if we go for this, it drops to 20. Okay, now we've got a second flag asking us to seal it off. Um, but we've also got this, which wants us to connect to 948 trees. So there's no way, there's no way we seal this off. Okay, we've got another water station at last. Let's connect this together. And at that point, we just need three more. Three more bits of railway track, and we've fulfilled another quest up there, so that's great. And then we've got this thing, which I'm sure we can connect like this. And this also connects quite nicely too, so let's just go for that. Okay, so we're down to 12. We should be able to do this pretty soon. Um, Forest-related quests are actually getting quite tricky now. 93 more trees needed. Uh, this is an end of a farm, so it's not too useful to us. I guess we stick it there. Then we got some more trees. So the game does want us to try and seal this off, and we'll get 10 extra hexes if we can do that. Um, yeah, it's asking me to seal off a lot of different hexes. Including this one. Which is really awkward to do. So I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure I want to do that, still. But at the same time, perhaps I shouldn't be expanding the forest even more. That's not a bad connection. Let's go with that for now. That keeps our options open. We get a perfect tile there too. Okay, so this thing connects pretty well too. Let's go for that. Then we got some more houses by our river. That's an okay connection, but the river does not join up to the other river. Although, that's probably fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so two bits of farm and a few bits of plain. I think here's probably fine. And then we've got this, which can continue to expand our farmer's fields. Uh, this does not join up. 
this brings us very close to finishing off that quest. We want to keep the farmer's fields expanding, so let's go in this direction. Then we've got a few more houses, we need to connect nine more to this. We do need to seal this off at some point though. It's not going to be too easy. Maybe something like this. Do we have any really obvious easy connections? That's not a bad one. But we're down to seven, so we have to be quick. Let's just do that for now. Then we've got a one-off house that we can connect like this. That's probably slightly better. Okay, so three more bits of railway track needed for this. Um, if we spin this round, doesn't actually work, doesn't connect like that. Okay. Just got to keep this thing going. Let's do that for now. Okay, this wants to connect to a thousand trees. That's not going to happen. Okay, this might be the end. We're really running low on options. We need three more houses to connect to this. We have no houses. No houses coming up. Probably have to... Crap, this doesn't connect either. Because of the river. Uh, if we go like this, that does connect. That does finish off a quest, so it buys us a small amount of time. But this is getting... This is getting dangerous. This does not close off our field, if that's what we're worried about. I'm not sure. Thing is, we do have another field coming up next, but that that's also a forest. So it might be more useful somewhere else. So yeah, I'm going to stick that there. It gives us a bit more time. Then let's go up to this, and let's keep building this. Okay, that's a good connection. Let's go for that. Still a long way off getting that done. Uh, we've got a single house and a few trees. Could go for something like this. We can see at least one more house is coming up. Next up is a really useless tile. It's just one bit of farm and a load of grassland. Uh, not sure. Not sure what we use this for. Do we use this for the trees or for the house? I don't think we can push this too much further. I think we are approaching the end. What a nice little land though. It looks kind of silly, but it's... It's the way I play, I guess. You can try building something a bit more aesthetic. That's kind of nice. Maybe we keep our options open, so if we go like this, we could potentially connect this to the other forest at some point. In case we ever work on that forest again. So yeah. Okay, can we find a isolated, an isolated farm that is surrounded by grassland? Maybe this? I mean, that's not great though. That's probably more useful. Down to five, though. What have we got coming up? We've got one more house there. That's a start. We don't know if we have many more houses at all. Uh, in terms of quests to do, we still need two more bits of railway track. That's really not far off, but... Again, we might just get unlucky. This hex does nothing for us. I'm going to move towards this hidden tile just to show what it does. The purpose of this video is not to... Uh, not to get an amazing score necessarily, but just to show off the game. So let's just see what the hidden tile is. This is so wasteful though. I could at least try and go for more perfect tiles if I do this. Okay, we don't get one for that. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, what about this? That's a nice connection. Just need one more house to connect. Oh, but we need exactly one. We can undo our moves, that is a thing. So if we start going for trees instead, how far off are we? Not too far off, that might be the better option. Okay, I'm gonna go for that, just because we know we need trees. We've got lots of trees coming up. That's a nice connection. Gives us a perfect two, that's great. 
Okay, so these houses, I think we should join onto this, but we still need 18 more, so we, we've got some way to go to finish off that quest. The alternative is we drop it here instead. That's probably quicker to fulfill. But yeah. Then we can go for this. Get the best connection we can. Let's try that. Okay, so that quest is done. We've got the end of a railway line, which is not always a good thing because we are trying to expand this one as much as possible, but I guess maybe there. Then again, that doesn't really do much for us. Uh, I'm going to stick it here instead. Now we just need one more bit of railway track. We have a bit of river here. The rest of this stuff is not looking too useful to us. Uh, this quest is a long way from being done. And we now have three flags on this forest. So 15 tiles up for grabs if we could somehow seal all of that off. But I, that's, I mean, that's definitely not going to happen. Uh, so we got some more river. This river does nothing for us. Really not helpful. We could try and get an extra good hex out of it. Um, an extra perfect hex. But we kind of have to study the map at this point to really see if that will work. We do something like this. I think we do get one perfect hex in the form of that lake. Yeah. Okay, so that buys us one more hex. Uh, so we've got a few more houses we can add to this. Yeah, let's keep going for that. Then we've got a few more trees. These trees are nowhere near enough to help us actually finish off this quest. So that's not really helpful at all. Hmm. Yeah, I'm starting to think we are reaching the end. Sealing this off is maybe easier than it looks. If it is just those two hexes we need, but we need a river tile. We also need to fill this in. Which we can. Maybe we get a few perfects out of this too. Maybe we don't. No, we get two. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, so if we go for this, that expands this some more. Does it help seal it off? Yes, it does. I mean, I, I really don't want to seal this off, but... If that's the only way we can stay in the game, then we don't have much choice. We've got more houses coming up, more fields. If we have no river coming up, then we're kind of screwed either way. Need to find an easy win somewhere. I'm not seeing one. I guess these two houses here, if we can just find two houses. We can seal this off. We're not far off doing that, but I don't think we need to do it right now. Uh, eight houses here is... maybe. It's possible. Yeah, the thing about this is, we... If we put this here, we might just have no option but to seal this off, because we need a river tile to connect this, and I'm not sure there is a river that's going to enable us to keep the chain of uh, farms going. But if we're close to losing, it. Okay, this one wants to connect to exactly 23. It's a quest. Perhaps up here we could do that. Sure. Okay, three houses. We should connect them. Oh, it's two houses there. Okay. Ah, I forgot. Uh, wow. Need to try and get this place done. But... We've got very few houses coming up. We've got no way to seal off this farm because there's no river coming up. Uh, we've got... Uh, no way to get enough houses to finish this stuff off. Any of it. I'm going to undo that last move. See if there's something else we can do. Um, so we need to seal this off and put down two more houses. But yeah, that's still not going to work. That's a nice connection. Maybe that gets us a perfect somewhere? I'm not sure it does though. So this hex just here... Let's have a good look. So the bottom is farm to farm. Bottom left is farm to farm. 
Top left is farm to farm. Uh, the top is grass to grass. The Yeah, that does actually work. Cancels this quest immediately. But we're close to being wiped out, so... Let's see what this extra... Let's see what this extra perfect hex gives us. And hope for the best. Then we'll go for this. Okay, there's another perfect hex in there, that's great. But we're not getting enough houses, we're getting loads of wheat fields which don't really benefit us anymore. Can we make another perfect? This is the point where we have to kind of study the map. We'll just risk this. Just see what it does. There we go, two perfects. I had a feeling I couldn't be bothered to actually count the tiles. Uh, Alright, so this is one house. We can almost seal this off. Uh, we've got some railway track coming up. So that's great, that's going to keep us in the game. Maybe this. Or this. I think I prefer this. Alright, so now we just need to seal this off. That seems good enough. There we go. Um, so we're, wow, we're right back up to 19. That went really well. So we closed off two flags and we finished the quest. This wants to connect to 45 bits of railway. Um, we're going to stick it on, have it connect to this absolute chaos. I feel bad for anyone who gets on one of those trains, it just never ends. Uh, so this thing is all out grass, so we can stick it somewhere where we think we're going to get a perfect. That's three good sides. Let's do that. Okay, we've unlocked a new skin for our beaver lodge as a, as a result of the fact that we have collected over 50,000 points since I first installed the game, that's nice. Okay, so we've got railway track and farms, can we connect it to all of this? Yes we can, let's do that. And we've got some more grass. We've got some nice looking connections here, but... I guess that's fine, let's do that. No perfect from that, unfortunately. Okay, so we got some... Yeah, this would seal off this farm. We do have the option of dropping that if we want to. But I'm going to try and keep that going for now. Uh, we can start bridging this together. That feels a bit indulgent. I mean, this doesn't really serve any purpose, but... We can connect the bits of forest together, you never know. Uh, this one wants to connect to exactly 10 bits of water, so this is too much. This is also going to be too much. Maybe we do something with this. Where else could we go? Uh, if we try connecting it to this, that actually does work quite well. It's going to be hard to seal off, but it's close to being done, so let's just do it. Then we've got some more farmer's fields. Do we start working on just another massive farmer's field project? The thing is, the quests that come in are just going to be too high to do. So I can't see that working. I'm going to try and seal off this town. So we can use this. This would kind of work. This feels a bit pointless, but we really don't have much else to do with farmer's fields at this point. Uh, we do have this, which is looking quite promising. It does look good there. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. And then we've got this, which I think we can stick like this. Then we just need two more houses to finish that off. So one way is to spin this around. That does look pretty good. Let's do that. Uh, that's too many. So we still have this quest here, which we can go for. Yeah, let's keep working on that. There we go. This wants to connect to 98 pieces. So this is... This is the point where we might regret sealing this off. Unless there's something I'm missing, and there's some other place it can connect, but I, I don't think there is. 
we've pretty much just completely sealed it off. If only we could destroy this hex somehow. Uh, but it's not going to happen. Okay. That's sad. But, uh... We have to give it a go, I think. That's an okay location. It's at least started. Let's go for something like this. They're kind of even. But I guess this one has this ugly rail network, um, which is probably harder to make work, so I'm going to put this here instead. This is not really helping us. Okay, so we've got some more forest. So 212 trees. If we connect these two together, it's not going to be that many. More useful to go for this. Yeah. Let's connect. No, it's not actually too good. Not a good connection there. Yeah, I'm really not making it easy to seal this off, but we've got to seal off the train track anyway, so that's never really going to work. Okay, so here we have one house. We stick this on, and that quest is now done. We've also got a perfect tile. Uh, do we need to seal it off? Doesn't look like we do. Which is unfortunate, because this is a nice looking connection. I guess we have to go like this instead. Okay. So then we've got some trees, which... I'm sure we can connect up here instead. No, that still doesn't look too good. That's an okay connection. Let's just do it. A couple of perfects in there, that's nice. Alright, so 152 houses, I think we obviously connect to this. Maybe kind of hard to pull off. Could do something like that, but that doesn't look too good. Let's just go for that. Okay, so we've got river and houses. I don't want to have a river going through the middle of the town because that makes it a lot harder to, to build around. This is pretty good looking connection. Doesn't really do much, but not terrible. Let's look at this one instead. So I could seal that off for what that's worth, but again, that's not too useful to us. Uh, we could actually actually get some houses down there. Sure. I mean, it's not great, but it's something. And then this would actually seal it off. Not seal it off, but complete the quest, so let's do that. Then, yeah, it does want us to seal this off, so we need to close this off, and we need to close all of this off. Easier said than done. Um, we can join this to the railway track. Let's make it part of that instead. I'm tempted just to drop this here, just to... Just to end where this expands into. We can probably get a few perfects around there. This isn't really doing too much for us. Maybe there. That's not too bad, it's not too useful either though. Even go for this. It's kind of ridiculous having five water stations right next to each other, but also kind of works. This is a way of connecting this little bit of the world. Let's just do that. Doesn't really matter too much. This is not a great connection. Okay, where can we put this one? We'd use it as just a bridge between our forests. That's, that's pretty good. We're not going to get better than that. Let's just go for that. A couple of perfects in there. Alright, so let's continue to expand our town. That looks pretty good. Then we've got a bit more farm and a bit more uh, buildings. Let's keep expanding this. Go 
going to be hard to connect these to anything. But not a lot else we can do with them. Could maybe go for this. I can always fill that in with a lake, so yeah, let's do it. Then we can connect all of this. That seems fine. Okay, so we got river and farms. Moment of truth? Can we keep this going? Not really. That would be the end. But is there an alternative? Well, if that house was... If that house was farm instead, then perhaps it could keep going. Let's see, we've got something coming up that looks promising. This is an okay place for this too. Uh, let's go back up to this first though. That's a bit better. No perfects, but still. Okay, let's see what we can do with this one. Oh wow. We can keep it going. Which does make all of this a bit pointless. Which would be a shame, but... With 13 to go, do we just seal this off and give up on this? I sincerely don't know. I sincerely don't know what the best way to play this is. But I, I want to keep my farm going, so I'm going to do that anyway, for the fun of it. Then we got some more trees. Uh, you can see, by the way, that when you move between the kind of biomes or the climates, things do change colour. So over here in this kind of lush part of the world, everything's very green. And as we move to the kind of autumnal part of the world, they do change colour to adapt, in case you've not already noticed that. It's quite nice. Do we stick that there? Does that help us? Do we want to try and seal this off instead? Can we do that? Yeah, we'll try that. Get a perfect in there too, that's nice. Alright, so we can keep expanding this, but we get no immediate gain from that. Um, so the other option is to bridge all this together. I can't see us ever getting this done, but I'm going to drop it there, just in case. Then we can drop... We can connect 21 more trees after this hex. And 11 hexes, I'm sure we can. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. I'm sure we can connect it at some point. Then we've got houses and railway. Still need six more pieces. Maybe that. That's not a bad connection either. Just seal that off. But wow, we're down to nine. Comes around so quickly. Okay, we stick that on. Um, still need 21 more. We've got farmer's field and railway track. Pretty useless. I mean, that's, that's kind of an okay connection, I guess. But doesn't actually help us stay in the game. I think we join up to this instead. Yeah, it's a shame we can't connect the, the farmer's field to the railway track, but I think the higher priority is just to keep this going. I'll try that. Maybe we can at some point. Uh, this wants to connect to exactly 13. Could start working on this. But it's probably not the best place. This is probably better. But that kind of meets the forest. Not ideal. You can even go for this, but this is also a bit hopeless looking. I'm going to start working on this, I think. Probably never actually get it done, but still. Can we connect these two together nicely? Yep, that works. Then we got some more river. So we've got a few trees. We can connect those somewhere. No. Don't think that's the best place for that. Uh, let's try up here instead. That's probably fine. Let's just go for that. 
Okay, so we can connect more farmers fields to this, but yeah, 84 needed. There's no way that gets done anytime soon. Um, I'd be tempted just to close this off instead once and for all. At what point do we start panicking? We're in single figures. That's a nice connection though. Let's do that. Get a perfect from that too. Okay, so there are no longer any quests associated with this forest. It's just three flags that we need to fill in. Um, it's it's pretty much impossible. I could have actually dropped the the water station there, but we'd have to make a serious commitment to actually close this forest off, which would not be easy to do. Let's make a start though, just in case. Okay, so we have one house, some more forest. Uh, this is probably the next thing we should focus on if possible. If we can get a few more houses, we need to get these couple of quests done. This is just one house, so it's not really useful. Bit of a dead end. I'm gonna go for this, doesn't really help me yet, but if more quests pop up it might. This is a really nice, really nice placement too, but we're in single figures, so it might just be a bit too indulgent. But it does look nice. Yeah, let's do it. If we lose, we lose. We've been going a while. The monitor's threatening to turn off from inactivity. Um. This one, could just stick it on an end somewhere. How about this? That seems okay. Okay, four houses. That does complete a quest there, which is nice. Uh, this almost joins up, but doesn't quite. And we get it to join on both sides, that kind of works. Let's do that. Okay, so 10 plus needed. We need to keep connecting this. But we don't want to seal it off. That leaves our options open. Okay, so we've got one lone house. This is not really very useful. Uh, we could probably put it somewhere like this. I mean, that's maybe that's going to lead to a perfect tile. It does actually add to the total. A couple of perfect tiles. Yeah, that does work out. Okay, so next up. Let's see. That's close to perfect, but let's just work with something that's not got any red connections. Let's try that for now. Then we've got a little bit of river. This river. I really want to seal this off. I'll try this. Don't think it's very useful, but I'm just going to do it. Okay, so next up, this does not really connect. Farmer's field's not too useful to us. That's an okay connection. Let's do that. That also works. That's really nice, actually. There we go. So we get a perfect tile, another quest done. Uh, we're going to need some more quests at some point because we're running out of options. We could try and close this off with a river. But not really too useful to do that. I think we will just stick it here. Does have a couple of nice connections. Okay, this wants to join onto a big town. So hopefully we can find a way to make this all fit together. So 10 hexes left to go. This is obviously a connection that kind of works. Um, these connections are not too good. But yeah, I think this is too indulgent. Just need to keep this going. There we go, two perfects out of that too. Okay, so next up we can continue to expand all of this. Doesn't connect too nicely. Maybe that. Okay, so what can we do? So we need 27 houses there, that's not going to happen anytime soon. 
Uh, so we've got a couple of forest ends and we've got a an end to a city as well. Maybe we use use it for something like this. There's so much we need to close off. I mean that kind of closes things, but not really. So does that. That's quite a good connection. I'll go for that. Okay, so we've got some houses and some fields, so which are we closest to doing? We're nowhere near doing that, so let's focus on the houses first and foremost. Let's just drop these there. Then we've got a big pile of trees. Does not help us too much. Let's just stick them. Stick them on the edge there. Let's give us a perfect. Okay, let's keep expanding our town. That's a nice connection. Then this kind of seals things off, so we don't want to do that. Yeah, we should probably use this up here instead. But that doesn't actually seal off the forest. Uh, this is a good connection. This is not one of the connections we need. This is not something we need to seal off. This potentially is. Let's do that. Give ourselves the option of sealing it if we need to. Uh, as for this one, we just need to seal off this one place. But we don't need to rush into that just yet. Let's see what comes up. So we've got a house. Let's see. We can connect things there at some point. That might be better. Okay, so a house and lots of field. Yeah, we could build a town to the south, you never know. Alright, so coming up we have got forest, we have got some river, we've got some grass. Yeah, so I'm not seeing how we finish these quests at this point. We could try and seal this off, but this is... Yeah, we need at least five hexes to be sealed off. In fact, more, at least six. So I think we're going to be forced to finally shut this thing down. Because nothing else that we see coming up suggests that we can keep this run going. So yep, we finally sealed off our giant farm. This is now a full farm. It's functional, I guess, but it's, uh, it's kind of sad that it's come to an end like that. This is a good connection, but it doesn't really help us too much. We need... We need trees to join onto this. So I think we go for... Something like this instead. And we've got some more trees that can connect. Let's try that. But yeah, running very low. I'm gonna try and keep this now I'm going. Okay, so we've got a few more houses coming up, but we need 17. Farmer's fields. No relevant quests. I think we go over here instead. I mean, this is, this is way too far off. We'd have to really get lucky to be able to keep this going. But, not really anywhere else to put it that's useful. Let's just go for that. Okay, so a couple of houses, some trees. Mostly trees, but the tree quests... We can't actually connect these two together. Is there any way to connect them together, or have I completely sealed that off? I think I might have sealed off the, the forest to the south. Yeah. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, so that, I guess that's one thing that I would say about this game is... Um, sometimes prioritizes the, the aesthetics over the visual clarity and readability. And I personally think that's actually a good decision. But for other people who are really chasing high scores and just want to be able to make decisions quickly, that might not, that might not be ideal. But yeah, I mean, I didn't realize I'd sealed that off. Not that it makes too much of a difference. We're pretty close to pretty close to just being screwed now. 
that connection keeps forest going, keeps town going. Um, we do have houses coming up. What about this? No, that doesn't connect well. Yeah, don't think so. Gonna have to just keep this going. Okay, this wants to connect to 206 houses. Can't see it happening, but... Oh, it wants to connect to exactly 206 houses, so yeah, we'd have to seal off the town potentially, but still. We can still get that done. I just hope no flag pops up. Just need to keep sticking houses on. But we're running very low. What could we do? Get more perfects. Even though this is my high score so far, I... I don't think I can be bothered to start counting edges. Might just stick this on. But we can see that we would run out. We can see that that would be the end. So if we were to place this here... So the, this hex here we would make a successful connection with, so it's grass to grass. Uh, it's town to town, it's town to town. Grass to grass and grass to grass, so yeah that does... That does connect. One perfect there. This is not the best way to sustain a run. I'm sure this does something good for us. Although it's not great either. Uh, we can actually see one coming up that might actually be better. It looks like it's a bridge of trees. So maybe... Go for this instead. Then we get a perfect from that. Now we've got this bridge of trees. That creates a perfect. Two perfects, in fact. So, we live on slightly longer. This is a nice connection. Just need three more houses, but... Not seeing how that's gonna happen. What else can we do? This might create a perfect. Also got a, a lake tile. And those are usually quite good for that. How close are we to these achievements? So a high score of at least 20,000. We're kind of close, but I, I can't see it happening. Perfectionist 3. We're not going to get 26 more perfect tiles in this run. Um, Engineer 3. We're close, but don't see that happening. We have to get a perfect tile out of this. I think this is the place where the magic happens. If we're gonna get a perfect tile. It's gonna be something to do with these. Bit of a weird placement though. I mean this appears to connect better, but I don't think it connects to a perfect tile. Yeah, I think I have to go for this. Two perfect tiles. So next up, can we make any more perfect tiles with this river? We have got some more houses coming up. We've got at least three houses coming up, so we're still in the game for at least... At least five more turns. We can start sealing this off too. We just go like, like this, I guess. Okay, now we connect these. So that's a pretty good connection, that does fulfill the quest. Uh, we can see some more railway coming up, but not too much. That is a surprisingly good connection there, but doesn't really achieve anything. Uh, so these are farmers' fields and forests. That would kind of seal that off. So we do have these farmers' fields up here that I kind of forgot about, but that was a project at some point. Sealing this off is impossible. This tile is a bit too... a bit too messy, I think. I can't see it actually contributing towards a perfect tile anywhere. And that's okay. I think the long-term option would be to continue to expand these fields. 
This connects nicely on two sides, so I'm going to do it. Okay, so next quest we have a hope of doing. We don't really have a hope of doing any quest, I think. We need five more pieces of railway to get this done. Um, I think we can connect. I think we can connect like that, but... Still not quite taking us far enough. Yeah. Three pieces of railway needed. Does this give us a perfect tile? I kind of doubt it. We've been building pretty messy around there. It would have to be this hex. And this hex. This hex appears to connect, uh, it connects house to house, it connects grass to grass, it connects field to field, field to field, and then it connects grass to field, so that wouldn't work. That's not a perfect... Okay, well, we're so close to the end, um, it's probably worth at least thinking about this. We can just find somewhere with a really nice fit. Maybe we can sustain the run slightly longer. We could drop it somewhere like this, and just hope that one of the tiles it connects to actually has a perfect connection, but I would be surprised. This one doesn't, because the trees don't connect to anything. Ah, uh, this one... So this one connects fields to fields, grass to grass. It's, it's hard to read this, but I think... I think this one is perfect, we'll see. Yes, it is. So we buy ourselves a bit of grassland, and that's it. That's not... That's not the solution to our problems. This drops this down to two. But that doesn't do much for us. Uh, this also drops it down to two. Could this lead to a perfect hex somewhere, perhaps? I took a chance. We did get one. Um, but we just get some farmer's fields. Not really... Not really what we need. That's a nice connection. But it doesn't connect to enough hexes to really give us a perfect anywhere. So... Not there. Maybe this? Took a risk. We got three perfects out of it, so that's nice. Okay, we can keep this going slightly longer. Um, so we keep these farmers' fields going. That's a good connection. Let's go for that. This wants to be exactly 35 houses. So obviously it doesn't want to connect to that. Um, this is probably going to be more or less impossible. Um, we've got a few houses there, just three houses we can connect. Four houses there, in fact. No, that's not... that's not great. But we don't really have any other mini-towns on the go. Um, the water station, I did want to drop off there, just to seal that off at last, but... Obviously we did get perfect hexes out of the other place. Um, oh, we do have this place, I guess. Never really built this up. Go on, let's try that. Okay, so we've got a lake coming up. We can probably do something there. This is a nice connection. I might just go for this. But it, it definitely doesn't lead to any perfects. Yeah, it doesn't lead to any perfects because it doesn't actually seal anything off. We could just drop the the beaver dam maybe right next to it, and maybe that just finishes something off. This part of the world is kind of messy. I'm not sure that tells us too much. I'm going to give this a go. Yeah, so I can drop this here, and it immediately cancels the quest. Uh, this wants to connect to... 
42 or more bits of water, which could work here. But if I drop it here, I think I get at least one perfect hex. So I can at least sustain the game a bit. Um, if I drop it here instead... I'd love to connect these two now. Um, if I drop it here instead... I'm gonna have to think this through. So, towards the bottom, this connects... No, this is not a perfect connection, because it goes uh, woods to grass. And then there's nothing else we actually seal off. Yeah. So even though that's the obvious place to put it, I think we lose the game the second that goes down. So alas, I think we have to waste it on this. We get two perfects out of that, the quest is immediately cancelled. Um, we've got a train coming up, but we would have to connect it in two places, which is not going to happen. So, again, we're rapidly approaching the end. This is a nice triple connection. This is a nice double connection, but it seals off the farm. Yeah, so at this stage of the game you can just keep yourself going for quite a while, as you can see, just chasing perfects. This is probably going to give me at least one perfect, right? A couple there. Okay, this one's to connect to 13. But exactly 13. So if I stick it on there it cancels the quest. Uh, I could stick it on there and keep that going. In theory that would be the long term option, but that's not gonna... Not gonna fly for long. Maybe we just do it anyway, I don't know. Uh, so we've got some houses coming up. The house quests are way too... way too demanding to finish off. With just a couple of hexes. I think we have to just give up on this quest too. Just stick it on the end. Could this give us a perfect? Can't quite tell, but I'm gonna stick it down. It does give us one perfect, okay. Alright, so I was hoping for some more train track. But, no such luck. Okay, so we've got a double connection there. Uh, that'll drop it down from 16 to 12 to finish that quest. There's no way. That just doesn't really work. Chasing perfects is kind of our only option now. Let's have another look at our world. So yeah, we can see we've started to fill in the gaps a bit. It was all snaking out at first, but then in pursuit of perfects we've filled in the center a bit more. I think I dropped this here. I'm just going to drop it there. Uh, then we've got this, which can drop there. Maybe that creates some perfects. I think it creates at least one. Yes, it does. So this is an okay connection, but it doesn't really keep the game going. Need to fill in these gaps. I'm gonna try this. Two perfects out of that. That's good. Okay, so we've bought ourselves a very small amount of time. Let's have a look up here. No, I don't think that works. This is a pretty good connection. I'm going to risk this again. Do we get a perfect? We get two perfects out of that. Okay, so we have a bit more railway coming up. That's good. That's at least one more quest we can do. See where we can connect this one. That's a good connection. Two perfects from that. Oh wow, we're really close. Really close to 20,000. I'll be happy with that. I mean, this is not really going anywhere. Yeah, I'm actually close to close to killing this railway off. Um, but we have to connect it. Have to keep the game going. Let's try that. There we go. We have made it to 20,000 points. We have claimed yet another um, skin for our water train station. It's not a water station, it's a water train station, I guess. A bit more literal. I guess they kind of need to do that since it's not really um, a thing that exists in reality. I mean, maybe it does somewhere. Certainly not that many of them in one place, though. Uh, so this is a pretty good connection. 
We are supposed to be sealing this off, of course. I forgot about that, so let's do that. Gives us a perfect two. Um, we can... We can make a nice connection there, too. Let's go for that. And we've got some more railway coming up, but this is... This is no longer associated with a quest, so I'm going to stick it here instead. So this is just... This is not really going to happen. This wants to connect to 50. That kind of connects. I'm just going to drop it there. No, no perfects out of that. That was kind of pushing it. Uh, if we spin this round, it does not connect. This connects in two places. This connects in several places. I'll try that. There we go, we do get one perfect. Uh, this one's to connect to exactly 55, but we'd probably have to seal it off uh, to really benefit from that. On the other hand, there's literally nowhere else that we even stand a chance, so let's stick it on. There we got some more houses and some more fields. That's probably fine. 1,300 trees this wants to connect to, yeah that's not gonna happen. Maybe we can at least get a perfect from it somewhere. But yeah, you can see that the game is not really incentivizing us still to shut this off. I'm gonna stick it there. No perfect. Bit of a long shot. Okay, so we want to either try and connect uh, 100 trees to this. I mean, that's kind of one of the only things we can do. There we go, we get another perfect out of that. This one's to connect to 27. Ah, I wish I had a lake there. I could get myself one more lake, that might be something we could do. This might give us a perfect though, in fact it will. At least one. Yeah, so we can try and connect that at some point if we survive. This connects quite nicely. So does this. Oh, but it wants to connect to exactly five, I forgot that, I thought it was a plus plus quest. Okay, uh, alas, I think, I think we're really, really running out of steam now. Um, I've certainly been playing this for, for long enough, I think. I was just trying to show off the game, of course, I'm not trying to get some crazy high score or anything. Um, so, we shouldn't really connect this, but, I mean, that's really annoying. Seven, seven houses will connect to it and it will fail that quest immediately. Um, but this is the obvious place to join it. If we had a few more hexes left, I would probably stick it just out of reach and then connect it later. But really at this point, we need to be getting perfects from this. Okay, I think if I'm working this out right, this will cause us to fail this quest, but it will also create a perfect hex just there. So, let's see. There we go. We're in the game for one more turn. Um... So we got this, which we can stick here, which doesn't really do too much for us. Uh, this is really just best for the trees, I think, but we need another 148, so that's not going to happen. Uh, we would probably have to try and seal some of this stuff instead, like this perhaps, but does this actually create a perfect... I don't think so. Yeah, because this doesn't link to this. I think that's how we keep ourselves in this. I think I'm ready to admit defeat. I think we've definitely seen the game in all its glory. It does get really addictive. Like, if you find yourself about midnight just firing up a new game, you might think you're just doing it to test something out, but then you'll find yourself finding it very difficult to quit. You'll want to just keep it going. How about this? This definitely doesn't create a perfect. Can the next one create a perfect? Okay, let's think this through. So this joins up really nicely there. If we drop another hex just above it, 
then we can connect it from from hay to hay. I think that works, right? I think that works. There we go. Okay, so we've got the water mill for... Actually, we have placed 150 um, perfect places. New skin unlocked for the water mill. We've not actually had one of those yet, but it's it's essentially the same as... Uh, Essentially the same as a windmill, but for the water instead. It's uh, not anything special. Uh, let's drop this here. Let's hope for another perfect, which we do get. Uh, unfortunately, we have continued our uh, continued the expansion of this waterway. Um, so this this doesn't really help us. I shouldn't have done that. Should have thought that through more. Although I doubt we could have done much with it. Could we have connected these two? I, I don't think so. No, because it's trying to go opposite, so that wouldn't have worked. Alright, well, I think we're pretty close. Pretty close to done. Would this be a perfect? This is grass to grass. Uh, no, it's field to grass, so it doesn't work. Alright, well this run is, uh, it's barely alive. I've been really, really stringing it along. But I feel like I should at least think about this before I throw it away. So this top hex connects field to field, grass to grass, grass to grass, grass to grass, grass to grass. So this does actually work. Keeps us going slightly longer. Uh, we need 28 houses for this. That's really not going to happen. So what can we do? I think nothing really. There are three sides of grass. So we could try this, and just hope this leads to a perfect, but we've looked at this hex before and it didn't look too promising. Um, this doesn't actually connect grass to grass. So... Don't think that works either. No. So that hex is not ready to go perfect. That hex can't go perfect. Let me just double check this. Yeah, because that connects houses to trees, so that can't go perfect either. Alas, I think, I think this is it. Maybe with great study, something else would become apparent. I'm gonna throw this in. We actually get another perfect for that. Okay. Well, I'd like to stick this here, just to try and seal this off, but... We're looking for perfects. What about this? Can we connect these two? We can, but I, I don't think that creates a perfect. So now's not the time to do that. Yeah, because it only seals this one off and this one connects grass to trees. Uh, this one... This one does connect trees to trees, then it doesn't connect that, so yeah, that's... That's not the place to go. We'd have to try somewhere else. Like this. But that doesn't really connect much. Um, we could try... We could try seeing if any of these are perfect. Got two connections there. So there's this one. Which does connect grass to grass, field to field. Field to field, grass to grass. Yeah, I guess this works. We live another day. This is not enough trees. Don't think this works for us. Yeah, not enough trees there. Um, this hex is... Nope, that doesn't work. This hex connects trees to trees. There is this quest icon in the way, which is not good. Um, this connects trees to trees, grass to grass, grass to grass. Can't really see this too well. I think this is trees to trees, and I think that is trees to trees, so... I think... Oh, two perfects. Okay, we're really... Really dragging this limping corpse of a session on. Uh, it's like Frankenstein's monster at this point. It's just about... Just about living. But it's... It's a dead game walking. We have got a very nice looking world. We've got our village down here, our big city. 
Although it is actually two different cities, of course, because these two don't connect. Join this together. That really doesn't do much for us. Yeah. Does this? No, that doesn't work. Uh, if we look to the to the left instead, that doesn't connect to anything. I'm gonna have to stick this down somewhere, I think. Let's hope for the best. What can we do? This connects in a lot of places, but I don't think it actually creates any perfects. This connects on five sides, and my brain is getting tired. I'm just going to hope for a perfect. We actually get three perfects there. Ah, the game. The game really wants me to push on. Um, I'm certainly... Certainly running out of ideas for how we sustain this. There's a nice connection available. We go like this. But we still need 24 more houses there. Uh, whereas we only need 21 houses if we start connecting all of this. So let's just drop that there. Then we need at least 7 more bits of railway connecting to this. Not really going to happen. We do have a, a water station coming up. So I wonder if that would create any perfect hexes there. It wouldn't because it's surrounded by trees. I think I will just stick this on here in the vain hope that something good comes of it at some point. Um, what can we do with the water station? Not too much, really. We could use it as a grass tile. That is a thing you can do. We could stick it there. Would that work? I might just stick this on here. It's got a few nice connections. We do get a perfect from the... Uh, from the station. Then we've got a bit of river coming up. We can connect there if we want to. No perfect from that though. We just have two left. So we can connect. We can connect to this, but that doesn't seal it off. We need to seal that off. Are we close to doing that? I think we are. Yeah, so that could actually work. Maybe that's how we stay in the game, slightly longer. I need to keep this train station expanding. It's a ridiculous place with many different railway tracks joined together. Oh, of course we can't connect it. Um, that doesn't work at all. We can't block this off. We need a lake. So, what can we do? This is a nice connection. Does it lead to any perfects? I'm just going to risk it. That's it. It doesn't. I uh, kept it going as long as I could. 21,000, not a bad score. I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, that is uh, Dorf Romantic. It's, it's really addictive. Um, it, it can get intense, but for the most part, it is really relaxing. Uh, I made the mistake of having the music down quite low, um, for me at least. So I do recommend turning it up. It's nice and relaxing. Uh, yeah, it's a nice game. I really like it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will leave a link to the Steam page in the description, so you can go and check that out. If you enjoy this type of video, please do subscribe to my channel. I've got many more playthroughs uh, of various different games available. But yeah, that is going to be all for now. This is our little Dorf Romantic world. Thanks again to the developers for providing me with the key. Much appreciated. But yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.